Hey, hey guys, Itaewon Sam here. How are you doing? How's everyone doing today? I hope you're really fine, really well, really happy, really safe, okay? So, what are we going to talk about today? Um, um, let's take a quick look at what it is that um, we are going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the cost of living, but in the COVID life. Okay, we're going to talk today about how much it costs to live isolated. I live a little bit differently. Now, pre-COVID, I was a club guy. I was out every week, going out, doing things, spending money. All right. Now, I kind of stay inside. I don't go out. I go out once a month, maybe. I don't go for dinners. I don't date that. I do. I do. But it's more restricted because I'm trying to be safe um, and you can't really go out these days there's really there's really nothing to do because everything closes at nine o'clock um, so here we go let's talk about that but before I do I want to say thank you to everyone who is liking loving sharing commenting uh, this video is going up what day is this video going up it is going up on February 9th by the time you see this video I'm already in Sri Lanka living the Sri Lankan lifestyle but I wanted to get this last video out uh, for those who were interested in um, uh, let's see let me get my budget up here who are interested in finding out you know what it is that the actual cost now living in Korea getting things delivered this was very important for some people how much am i spending on delivery food delivery those kinds of things okay so just to take a step back uh the last two years i haven't been working at a club i have been working at schools and online i'm switching over to all i've been switching a lot to online teaching uh it reduces my cost the rate is lower but it, my costs are reduced i don't have to get dressed and you know clothes I don't have to spend money on transportation which costs um, approximately three to three three thousand won for to go to one class so I cut that and then my time here's one thing that people f neglect to realize is that if you take a job for 40 50 60 dollars right uh, an hour you need half an hour to go half an hour to come back that's another hour of your time you could be spent making money. So let's say uh, I get a job for $80, okay? Uh, that's $160 for, for, two, for two hours of my time. Because one hour, I'm not making money. Sorry, that's $80, 80,000 won for two hours of my time. So that's 40,000 won per hour. Because I'm not making money that one hour of transportation. And I'm spending 3,000 won to go to work, okay? So actually, I am only earning in two hours 36,000 won, okay? And I have to get dressed, and in the wintertime it's cold and miserable, you know, I'm lazy. Now, if I'm only making 40,000 won online, and I work two hours back to back, I'm sitting here right at my table right here doing, I don't have to get dressed, 10 minutes before the class, I log on to the system, do the class, do two classes back to back. I just made 80,000 80, won. Okay? In two hours, I made 80,000 won. The same 80,000 won I would have earned for one hour's work plus the one hour of transportation, even half an hour of transportation. I still need to get dressed and get ready, have a shower, shave, brush my teeth, have breakfast, etc., etc. To get ready so that's the thinking you got to remember here you're making less but you're making more per hour people got to figure that out so what are the costs well the costs are the same i've reduced my rent okay the no, so costs are not the same because i've reduced my rent as i've you've seen in my video tours you've seen in my uh, housing tours that i had in the past i had a big house because i entertained those costs are gone i don't entertain anymore so I reduced the size of my house. I could even go smaller, but I like to have a little bit of space. So for you to live in Seoul, in downtown Seoul, you can spend anywhere from 300,000 to six, seven, 800,000 for a small place. 
and live comfortably. Now, because of COVID, you might want a little bit more room so that you don't feel like you're stuck in a, in a cage, which is how I am right now. I'm in a large space and watch the video previously showing you my apartment tour. Um, so that, you know, there's your cost. Let's say 500,000 won. Now you have to have five to 10 million won de deposit um, and furniture. Let's say another million won, okay? Um, <clears throat> what else do we have here? Let's see. Uh, internet cost me 11,000 won for high speed internet. Uh, and I have Wi Fi, but I don't pay for a Wi Fi router because I use my own. <clears throat> I don't have cable TV or anything like that. I did, but I never used it. And they offer a free Wi-Fi phone. Don't, I never used it, never used it. Gas and electricity combined, about 50,000 won, okay? In the wintertime, gas is higher, electricity is lower. In the summertime, electricity is higher, gas is lower. Uh, I have a maid who comes in two times a month uh, to clean and iron. I don't like doing laundry and ironing, so she does that and she cleans the apartment, which I like, dusting and everything like that. So I pay her 50,000 uh, won every time she comes. And she comes when I'm at work. So I come home, the house is clean. Uh, so that's about 100,000 won per um, month. It could be less depending on the size of your house. I've had her for a long time. So obviously I pay her more because of the raise. Um, Let's see what else is there. Now, here's where we come into the miscellaneous costs. And this is where it's kind of, you can, you know, you can either spend more or spend less. I like, I'm lazy, I like to eat out, so I order coupon and I spend about four or 500,000 won a month on delivery, because I'm really lazy. You can order groceries online and save yourself a lot. Everything I want, I get delivered. I don't need to go shopping. I order through coupon and I do that. So let's say you cut out the delivery. Maybe once a week you order delivery pizza, burgers, whatever. Um, that'll cost you, you know, 20, 30,000. Let's say 100,000 on delivery. 100 bucks, 100,000 won on delivery. Then you have your groceries, which you can do online, and, they, and the quality is amazing. I've bought blueberries, and then I got blueberries delivered online, and they were 10 times better and almost the same price. Now, if you get coupon and you subscribe to Rocket Fresh, which I need to cancel, and that's another thing I got to do. I got to cancel Rocket Fresh because it's 2001 a month. Um you uh, get a delivery for free, all right? So that's important too. The other thing is that um, if you don't like it, you can return it. Now, if I order something right now at 2 p.m., it will be delivered by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Usually it comes about midnight, 2, 3 a.m. for me. Every time I've ordered food, I, I get the doot doot in, in my phone telling me it's outside. It comes packaged, safe. Uh, and uh, sealed and uh, with ice, dry ice or, or, or ice. Eggs, I get eggs delivered. Eggs, meat, uh, vegetables, fruits, all of that stuff. Coffee, sugar, my basic staples. Um, anything else, I just pop over to the, you know, the little grocery store just down the road on, on the way home. Um, yeah, so you can spend these days more or less than what you were in the past but you can do it safely so you're not going to public markets or things like that so um is it cheaper yes it can be because what's happening right now is because of covid the delivery companies are increasing their product line expanding their product line and offering services to uh, their customers to, to retain them like valued customers. So I have seen my grocery bill reduce. Um, and 
my entertainment expenses have basically gone to zero because again I don't go out I did go out last weekend or the, yesterday uh, but that was you know a goodbye party so I spent money there but when I was working in the clubs I didn't spend anything except when I went out for dinners and stuff like that so you know my costs have come in line with what I used to spend people will think that you know during COVID you would spend more but actually I'm spending less I, I will I'm, I've looked at my 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 trending because I track everything on a on a program I have and the trend spiked a little uh, at the beginning of COVID but then it dropped uh, I would say about 30 percent um, um, not because of rent or anything like that but like I said my entertainment and food costs those dropped 30 percent my rent and and expenses dropped by over 50 percent so you know um, it was a good deal to to move here um, and benefited me and my income increased that was another good thing so yeah what are the what are the you know in conclusion what are the costs to live here in Korea uh, during COVID about 30% less than on your food expenses and, and your miscellaneous expenses is about 30% less than it was pre COVID is what I'm finding so hopefully that helps everyone if you want any more detailed information comment below click the like button love you all everybody stay safe stay happy stay healthy you want sammy king of kingdom i'm out